to God's holy heaven is to repent. People, judgment is coming. This is serious. There's many of you, you're not right with God. There's many of you, you're living in sin. And there's a day of judgment coming. It's appointed once for you to die. And then after that comes the judgment. You're not going to live here forever. There's a day when you're going to stand before God Almighty. There's a day when you're going to give an account to God. And people, I'm warning you in love that if you die in sin, you will go to hell. Yes, you will go to hell. And this is the truth. This is the truth of God's word. Judgment is coming. Judgment day is coming, people. Are you ready to stand before God? Are you ready to stand before God Almighty? Because that day is coming. That day is coming. And people, I am warning you in love that if you die in sin, you're going to a burning hell. That's where you're going to go. And there's no exemptions. Everyone has sinned. Everyone needs to be saved. And there's only salvation in Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. No one can get into God's holy heaven unless you come to God's holy Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus was crucified for your sins. Jesus Christ was nailed to a cross. He was crucified. He was beaten. He was persecuted. He was tortured. Jesus Christ, he made an atonement for sin, sir. And now God commands all men everywhere to repent because he has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son, Jesus Christ. And people, we are warning you, you have to repent. If you don't repent and get right with God, there's no hope. Oh no, that's it. There's no hope without salvation. You will go to hell. Yes. Oh yes. And people, they suppress the truth in unrighteousness. They live ungodly. And God sends preachers to warn you. Because God wants you to be saved. God takes no delight in the death of the wicked. God has demonstrated his love when he sent his son, sir. Oh yes, God sent his son, and God's son, Jesus Christ, is a demonstration of his love, how he wants to save you. But you keep going on in sin. You keep living ungodly. You keep living wicked. You say, no, God. You keep drinking the alcohol and getting drunk. People keep smoking the weed bag. And they live ungodly. And they say no to God's Holy Son. And people, I'm warning you, you have to repent or you're going to go to hell. You need to be saved. There's a day when you're going to stand before God and judgment day is coming. And if you do not come to God and repent and believe in the gospel, believe in Jesus Christ, you will die in sin and you will go to hell, folks. This is the truth. You need to open up God's word. The Bible says that there's no rest for the wicked. Oh no. There's no rest for the wicked. See, in this world you can go to sleep. You can lay down. You can get you some rest. But there's no rest in hell, ma'am. Oh no. There's no rest for the wicked. If the wicked die in sin, they go to hell. And everyone has sinned, and you need to repent, people, because judgment's coming. Not helping anybody with that. Oh, yeah, well, sir, you need to stop suppressing the truth and unrighteousness and get right with God, or you're going to burn in hell. I am right with God. Are you right with God? No, you're not. You're coming against the preaching, sir. You're a servant of the devil. I mean, that ain't preaching. Yeah, that's preaching. The Bible says repent or you're going to perish, sir. I know what the 
Bible says. Well, get right with God and stop coming against the preachers and what they're preaching, sir. You're just annoying. Well, the Bible is annoying to those who are living wicked. Did I say the Bible? I said you, motherfucker. Yeah, there's your wicked mouth. There, there's your wicked, filthy tongue. There's your filthy tongue, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You got a potty mouth. You ever have to go in a career of a... Yeah, you got a potty mouth, sir. You need to put a pamper on that tongue. You got a potty mouth, sir. Your mouth's full of, of, of pottiness. You got to put a pamper on that tongue and get right with God. But, sir, you're full of pride. That's what's going on. You need to turn to Jesus, sir. Get right with God. Put down the wickedness. Get your heart right with the Lord, sir. Or you're going to go to hell. Turn to Jesus, sir. And this is what people do, though, when you preach. Yes, people, they hate the preaching of God's word. But Jesus said this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world to all the nations as a witness. And then the end will come. And this is what you see going on. God is sending preachers into the streets because we're in the end times, people. Judgment's coming. Time is running out. And if you die in sin, you will go to hell. There's only one way to be saved, and his name is Jesus. You have to come to God's Son, Jesus Christ. You have to repent, people. I hear the music gets loud when the preacher preaches. That's because you, you don't want to hear God's Word. Oh, you don't want God's Word in your mind. You want to live your life ungodly, people. And I'm warning you, you're going to die in sin and go to hell if you don't repent. You have to turn to Jesus, folks. Get right with God. The Bible says the wicked will do wickedly. The wicked will do wickedly. And the wicked will tur be turned into hell. You don't want to go to hell, sir. Get right with God. Turn to Jesus. God wants people to be saved. And this is a message of love today. God loved you enough, sir, that he sent some preachers into the streets to warn you to repent. But you have to make your choice. You can choose to say no, God, but people are warning you. If you die in sin, you will go to hell. Don't say no to God's holy son, Jesus Christ. The mercy of God is being expressed to you today. But will you receive God's invitation into his kingdom? Will you repent? Or will you keep going on in sin? Will you die in sin and here depart from me? I do not know you, you worker of sin, you worker of iniquity. Because there's a lot of people that are going to hear that. Many people, they hear the preaching and they just keep living worldly. And then they die, ma'am, and then they go to hell. And this is how it is with many people. We are in a ungodly world, and judgment is coming. The Bible says God is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son Jesus Christ. That means God is going to judge the sinner who does not repent. And there's many people, they live ungodly, they make faces at God, they hate the preaching of God's word. And the preaching of God's word is an expression of his love because God wants you to repent, but you keep living in sin. You love sin, that's why you keep going on living ungodly. The Bible says that men, they love darkness and they hate the light. That's what the Bible says. Men, they love darkness and they hate the light. And God, in his mercy, he sends preachers to preach to you. But you have to repent, folks. You have to turn to God. That means you have to acknowledge your sin and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner, and repent and believe on the Lord. The Bible says, whoever believes on the Lord will be saved. Do you want to be saved, sir? Amen.
Pick up a Bible, get real with God. Don't vape no more. You're putting that smoke in your lungs, sir. It's gonna hurt you. God wants you to live clean. The Bible says, therefore, come out from amongst them and be separate, saith the Lord. Touch not what is unclean and God will receive you. So God wants you to be holy people. There's many people in America, they say they're Christians, but they live ungodly. They are drunkards. They have filthy cussing mouths. They watch pornography. People, you're not a Christian if you're not living obedient to God. Real Christians live obedient to Jesus. And they are witnesses for God. The Bible says, I beseech you by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, you're being conformed to this world, many of you. You're listening to that ungodly music and you're letting it corrupt your mind. You're conforming yourself to the patterns of this world and people, I'm warning you, if you don't come to God and, and repent, you're going to die in sin and go to hell. Jesus Christ, he was crucified for your sin. God sent his son into the world to save sinners. And everyone has sinned, but you have to repent, people. You have to turn to God. Your only way into God's holy heaven is to come to God's holy son. That's it. You may live your life here and it's not going to be long and when you die, if you're not saved, you will go to hell. You say, well, what should I do, preacher? Get serious about your life. Confess your sins to God. Believe on Jesus and you will be saved. Turn away from sin. Jesus said if your hand causes you to sin, you need to cut it off. He says it's better for you to go through life with one hand than to go to hell where the fire is never quenched. It's many of you that you pick up that alcohol drink and you get drunk. And you need to cut the alcohol out and live holy. People, no drunkard is going to inherit God's kingdom. There's people, you smoke weed, you get high on weed. You can't smoke weed and go to God's holy heaven. you got to live sober. When you come to God, you turn from sin. When you come to God, you repent. But the question is, what will you do, people? Will you just keep hardening your heart to God's word? Will you keep living ungodly and die and go to hell? Or will you humble yourself and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I don't want to go to hell. I believe on the Lord. I want to be saved. I want to go to heaven and repent. Because you don't have much time left. The clock's ticking away, ma'am. Tick tock. Tick tock. The clock is running out of time, people. The clock is running out of time and judgment is coming. And there's only one way into God's holy heaven. And that's through God's holy son. Are you right with God, sir? because judgment's coming. Have you thought about that day when you're gonna die and stand before God? Because that day is coming, people. That day when you die and breathe your final breath here on earth is coming, and if you are not saved, you will go to a burning, fiery hell. The good news is you can say, God, I don't wanna go to hell. How do you go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, ma'am. He taken away the sin of the world. You can have your sin forgiven. You don't have to keep having a cussing mouth, sir. There's a lot of people that have a cussing mouth. That's because their heart is full of sin. The Bible says in the last days that many will be offended. They will betray one another and hate one another. There's so many people, they hate other people and they hurt them and harm them. They do things to hurt people. We're in the end times, and the Bible says you have to forgive those who did anything to you. You can't hold grudges, people. If you die in sin, 
If you die and you're not saved, you will go to hell. Oh yes. You're going to go to hell. And you say, well, what should I do? You repent, sir. Repent and get serious with your life. Because time is running out and your life could be cut short tonight. Oh yeah, you're not guaranteed to live on until see tomorrow. Oh no. There's people that think they're going to live long and they're not. They're going to be unfortunate because death is going to come. People die each and every moment of the day. People die of heart attacks. They die in car accidents. People get murdered in the streets. Are you ready to stand before God, people? Have you gotten saved? Have you came to Jesus Christ and repented of your sin? Because time is running out, people. Judgment is coming. God bless you, ma'am. Hallelujah. She's not ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ. But there are many people in America, they are ashamed of Jesus. And sir, Jesus said if you're ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of you. That's what the Bible says. If you're ashamed of Jesus, Jesus said he will be ashamed of you. And there's many people, they're ashamed of God's word. The Bible says, if you confess Jesus Christ before men, Jesus will confess you before his heavenly Father. How many of you are saved out here? Not many. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, sir? There's only one name given amongst men that you can be saved, and his name is Jesus. But you have to repent, people. Judgment Day is coming. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 